Hey, what's up my guys? Uh, this is Kate, Artie Tack, here, and I am going to do my very first voiceover. Hooray, hurrah. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about what it's like uh, working for yourself as an artist and why it sucks. Just kidding, it doesn't suck. It kind of sucks. All right, so how I got into it is um, I've actually been working on my internet presence for 20 fucking years, and I'm not even joking. I first got on the internet when I was 13 years old, um, so actually it's like 21 year, 22 years, I don't know, I can't do math. Never, never could quite figure out that math thing. <laughs> yeah, um, so I used to have a domain back when I was like 13 years old, um, and that was fun because the internet was kind of like the wild west then there was no social media so if you wanted to put yourself out there you had to have your own damn website and that was great um i had a website called creepy kitty um and i also had a website called kitty's coffee shop um i used to go by kitty on the internet when i was uh, a, a youngin because i was you know edgy and stupid but um anyways so yeah so i've been doing that um as I got older, uh, you know, I've always posted my art online. Um, I, in my early 20s, um, used to date a guy in a band. That went about as well as you would expect what it's like dating a guy in a band. Um, but I also uh, kept maintaining a, a little bit of a following there. Um, and then when I was about 27 years old, I decided to kind of throw myself in full speed into um, being kind of just an internet artist. You know, I, I had dabbled in it here and there, and it was more like an afterthought of having my personality be like, I'm an artist, but now I was just like, you know what, fuck it. This is what I've been doing my whole life. This is who I am outside of the internet, so I might as well do it. So I started doing it on the side, um, and during that time, I was bartending, and bartending was great, and I loved it, and I will absolutely, you know, praise bartending until I die. Like, I'll, I would go back to it if this never, if this doesn't work out, um, but I worked that job for a few years, and it was really hard, um, putting my art out there at that time because, you know, I'm working full time and I would work all hours of the night. I'd get home super late. Um, I'd sleep in and I'd basically wake up an hour before I had to be at work and then do that cycle again. And so like, I never had time to work on my art. And so it kind of suffered for a couple years. And a few years ago, um, I actually got fired from my bartending job and it was you know it's my dream bartending job but me not being able to work on my art had made me absolutely miserable and so I was just angry all the time um just depressed hateful and being fired actually was kind of a blessing in disguise if I could say and for you know when I first started I was like so I guess now's my time to see if I can support myself as an artist full time. And, you know, I threw everything I had into it. I was like, I'll give myself three months. You know, I had some money saved up. Um, it's like, I'll give myself three months. And if it doesn't work out in three months, then I will go back to bartending somewhere else. Um, so, yeah, so basically that was three ish years ago. And I've been working for myself full time ever since. And, I haven't looked back and it's been awesome. Um, well, I guess it's not completely awesome. There's been some like really shitty parts, but you know, hey, can't, can't win it all. But, um, so yeah, that's how I got to where I am. Um, and so basically like I've been working at this for years and years and years and, you know, I'm still not even close to being a big name, but you know, I've established myself enough to be comfortable uh, with working for myself, which is fucking awesome. So let me give you a, some advice on how to make it as a, a full-time artist, I guess. And, you know, this also works if you're doing part-time artwork because, you know, I've got plenty of friends that have jobs on the side um, to support themselves for the months that, 
you're not always making money because those months happen and they really suck. But um, yeah, so the first bit of advice that I can give you is establish friendships. And I'm not talking about like trying to basically use people, but I'm, I'm talking about like actually establishing meaningful relationships. I have in the local art scene here in Atlanta, I, I'll say it's like, it's a little bit cliquish, but there is a group Um, or actually not even a group, there's like a massive amount of artists that fly under the radar here that are just awesome people. And I have made so many good friends here. Um, I have like group chats going with a couple of them. Uh, We have each other's backs. And when you're establishing friendships with artists, um, be it local or online, you know, you you look out for each other. Whenever um, someone throws something my way that that I don't think is a right fit for me, I pass it on to my friends all the time and vice versa. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten gigs and stuff like that that my friends have gotten for me, which is awesome. Um, also, when you are when you have like local friends and stuff like that in the art scene, you've got people that'll bounce ideas off of you and like people that basically, it's just like they understand you're crazy like nobody else does. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, like the local art scene in your area, try and get into it. Try and meet as many as you can. Um, Start looking for like local art shows and local pop-ups. Here in Atlanta, we have an online group called Pop-Up Posse that's so awesome that it's just like a we post vending events where we're looking for local vendors and stuff like uh, just things like that and I've gotten so many gigs from that where you know I'll make a couple bucks here and there um it's not necessarily doing like convention stuff but I'll still like walk away with a couple hundred bucks that day which is great um and then I meet people from there and yeah it's just like you start kind of growing yourself locally and then getting yourself out in front of more people than you would if you were just exclusively online um so that's my advice for that uh my other thing is like this one's kind of shitty but figure out what people are into and post more of it And that sounds kind of like a duh type thing, but I can't tell you how many things that I personally love that... Oh my god, my cats. I'm sorry, there's cats running around in my room, so if you hear crashing in the background, it's just my cats being complete fucking dicks. Um, Oh my god, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, posting what people want. Like, if I had it my way, I would post nothing but, like, drawings of weird, creepy animatronic stuff from, like, showbiz pizza from the 80s. And nobody likes that. Because you know how I know this? Because every time I post it, I get like five likes. <laughs> Which sucks. Because I love that shit. Um, I've learned that like my pinups, as much as I love my pinups, aren't as popular. Um, and that sucks. Um, but yeah, so like, yeah, absolutely do what you want to do. But also figure out what people respond to like I've learned that people respond really positively to me doing um like monsters and stuff like that cutesy horror stuff which I also really enjoy doing so I post more of that and the more of that that I see like you know it it, I get I get positive like likes and follows and stuff like that that's awesome um, I, I see stuff that is super popular, like um, I saw the Rocco's Modern Life the other day came came out, like the new one, and I immediately jumped on that and was like, oh, here's some more Rocco's Modern Life stuff, and just kind of like jumping in on, on that shit. It's like shameless, but you know, and then like once you get a little bit of a following from doing that, like yeah, absolutely, just start being like, well, cool, now that you're here because you like my art for that, now you can see what I really do. And then just be like, pow, here's the rest of my shit, bitch. And then just kind of, you know, do a double, a double whammy, a double whammy on him and do that. Yeah. So there's, there's that. And then also another big factor is uh, luck. I will absolutely 100% say luck because I lucked out and got a bunch of followers because one of my pieces went viral a couple of years ago and it was Baby Baphomet. And I can absolutely say that I can, you know, I got a big boost from that. (laughs) So yeah, just, you know, have some good luck. It's easy, easy, right? But like some of the shit they don't fucking tell you, 
about it, about working for yourself, is like, you're lonely. It's lonely as shit. People don't always respect it as a real job. You know, figuring out taxes. Oh my god, I want to die. Like, congratulations to me, I'm actually a tax-paying member of society. But um, it also makes me just want to kill myself every time I have to figure out my taxes. So there's that. Um, you kind of go crazy being by yourself all the time. Um, and like, I'll do, I'll go days where I don't change my clothes and then I have to, and get like super depressed and have to snap out of it. Um, burnout is an absolute fucking real thing, which totally sucks because I burn myself out a lot. Uh, so you kind of have to give yourself off days, which is hard. So like, I honestly normally wake up at like 7 a.m. and just work until maybe 9 or 10 o'clock at night and I'm probably going to die by the age of 40 because of it but you know it's just what the fuck I do and I'm an idiot so (laughs) I can't really give you good advice (laughs) for that like don't do what I'm doing but yeah um it it sucks because like I'll have friends that'll message me and you know they're starting to catch on but I you know I have a lot of friends that are just like oh you know you you can just take time off whenever it's like no I have actual real deadlines and stuff like that but you know I digress I'm griping but yeah I, I appreciate you listening to me ranting and rambling about this for the last little bit uh yeah like all in all working for yourself while it's stressful as shit is actually like super rewarding and really fun to do and I can say that like being able to create art for people is like one of the best things I could have ever ever have hoped for and it's awesome and like I really appreciate everyone that like likes my art too so if you are fortunate enough to be able to put yourself out there and survive off of that like that's so rad like fuck yeah congratulations you know eat a cookie maybe not if you're if you're on a diet which I should be right now but you know I'm not I'm still eating cookies a lot but yeah so here's my drawing I hope you like it I hope you liked me rambling I appreciate you listening to me have a great day Follow me and like and subscribe for more of me rambling and ranting and all sorts of that bullshit too. But uh, yeah, thanks again. Bye. Ах, не опишет ты пирог, какой восторг крутит пирог.